Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rafi West here, and uh, just taking a stroll, you know, and um, I wanted to get your guys' opinion on something or just make some statements on something as I stroll around here. Got my umbrella just in case it starts raining. Got my umbrella here. Um, oh, I was thinking of applying... I've been kind of looking around for a new gig lately, a new job. Um, I would say passively looking around, not actively. Sending in some resumes here and there. And um, I was wondering if the good old-fashioned resume is obsolete, you know, um, or... Because as I was sending it, you know, I have an up-to-date one. And as I was sending it, I was thinking, you know, are resumes obsolete even in some way? Is it just good for, like, the contact information? And um, I also had an idea of some things to include in a future revamp of it. Um, for example... This channel, should that be included on there? You know, if you have any social media and a following of any sort, should that be included in a resume? Um, you know, I thought of that. Um, your credit score, should that be included in a resume? I thought of that. Especially if it's a good one. Um, you know, um... The main thing was like social media. If you have like followers on Facebook or you have a channel, even if it's small like mine, as the race to 100 subscribers begins, um, I was wondering if uh, any of that was um, important to include in a resume. Let me open my umbrella here just in case we decide to get wet so we don't get wet here I don't want my uh, device here getting wet I like to take care of my stuff you know um, so yeah I was wondering what do you guys think and then um, keep hearing about the interviews the initial interviews are like um, video or phone I guess through Skype you know I'm an OG you know I'm a G generation Xer and um you know, the old school way of doing it was resumes that they actually read, right? Look at of the thousands, and um, there was no video calls per se, um, stuff like that. So I was just, you know, there was no inclusion of social media stuff. I'm trying to find a way to walk here without having anyone captured on my videos without their permission um so yeah i was thinking what do you guys think what what else can be included and is the old-fashioned resume dead you know um i know you can still apply online now cover letters are still there um but yeah my main thing was the inclusion on resumes should i include that i have a youtube channel should I include if I have an Instagram um, should I include if I have a Twitter which I do have by the way I have those things um, you can go check it out Rafi West at QPROD QPROD either 2011 or 011 or just do a search and then on my Instagram also Rafi West um, so yeah it is raining now. I love the rain, by the way. Um, you know, and the rain appropriately came down. It appropriately came down, as I was m mentioning, have things changed? When I started recording this video, it wasn't raining. And um, I guess the heavens are answering me that, yes, things have changed. You know, um... And I had other things on my mind. I can't remember right now of what to include or not include on a video. I mean on a video. On a um, 
a resume. So let me know what you guys think about this resume stuff. What else would you include? I was thinking about things like credit score, social media, because we're in the social media age. Um, you know, and then even qualities that, you know, they say you need like a certain degree or experience, even qualities, right? Like conscientiousness. Um, that I'll probably bring up at the interview. You know, you want to be conscientious, meaning if there's something on the floor, like here in your office, don't just step over it. Turn around and pick the damn thing up. You know, um, um, the ability to work hard, you know, industrious. This, I believe they call that. The ability to work hard if you have to. Um, I'm going to apply all the other principles if I get like this one gig in particular. I'm going to apply the other principles. For example, if they stay, it's a 9 to 5 gig. And if you could be in at 8 and leave at 6, come earlier and stay late, you're ahead of most of the competition. Um... You know, so conscientiousness, industriousness, or industrious, um, those qualities should be mentioned. Um, perfectionism. Oh, perfectionism actually would mean um, double checking your work. You know, a lot of people don't double check. I used to not double check my work. I used to think that. Um, I used to think that, uh, you know, I've always, like, praised myself on having a good memory. And I used to never double-check my work. Now I double-check everything. You want someone who's a perfectionist. Um, so that's also a good quality to bring up for these interviews. So that's a little ramble on about interviewing and what you think. I mean, uh, what do you guys think about, um, you know, what's important to put in an interview and in the initial resume? Uh, so, yeah, let me know any more good tips you guys have on when you're applying for a new job, whether it's in the same industry or a different different industry let me know all right guys this is rafi west here in the rain i like this kind of weather um oh yeah i wanted to say about the double checking thing because the other day i went somewhere and you know i know my driver's license number by heart um i know my one of my doctor's phone numbers by heart my social security number by heart is it too much? Am I boggling down my memory? So now I'm trying to filter all that out and um, keep my mind clear to put other, even more important stuff into it. So anyway, let me know what you guys think on the resume. Any more tips on what to add? And I hope you guys are all well. Stay dry if you're in this wet weather somewhere. And I'll talk with you guys another time. Peace.